A brain aneurysm is rarely on anyone's mind, but it's estimated 5 million Americans are harboring a secret that could burst with little warning. Aneurysms are probably more common than you think. We find them, them oftentimes in patients who may come in after a, a trauma or have had a head CT or an MRI scan for headaches or an unrelated uh, symptom. A ballooning blood vessel. Aneurysms develop in a weak spot. Their development linked to blood pressure. And what happens is as the blood pressure pounds on the blood vessel, it can expand. Think of a balloon. As a balloon expands, the skin of the balloon thins. So when that happens on a blood vessel, as the th skin thins, it can be prone to rupture. Results are often catastrophic. If an aneurysm bursts, it causes a bleeding or hemorrhagic stroke that typically results in brain damage or death. When we're talking specifically brain aneurysms, our biggest concern is hemorrhage. 40% of people who have a ruptured brain aneurysm die before they get to the hospital. Brain aneurysms are more common in adults than children and more common in women than in men. A number of factors can contribute to weakness in an artery wall and increase the risk of forming a brain aneurysm. High blood pressure is one of the risk factors for developing a, an aneurysm, as well as smoking. There is a little propensity of uh, family history. So people who have a direct first descendant or a first relative, a first generation relative with an aneurysm, often can get screened. The majority of brain aneurysms never present a problem. There is a psychological impact to having an aneurysm in the brain, but in some cases, if it's a small aneurysm and it appears very regular, uh, it may be fine just to watch it and get a scan in a year. A large aneurysm or one in a delicate location may be clipped or coiled to prevent a rupture and take the pressure off a worried mind. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.